Hello friend, don't you wish that there was an accessory that allows you to move faster than this painfully slow walking speed? Don't you just wish that there was something that stopped you from falling to your death in ice biomes? What about something that allows you to walk on water? What about walking on lava? Well, look no further. The all-new TerraSpark boots are what you need. The TerraSpark boots are an all-new accessory introduced into Raria 1.4. They're a monster of an accessory that truly fulfill all your ground movement desires. Although it has a rather simple crafting tree, some of you might not know how to get every single component, which is why I'm here to help you out. I'm Zuzucorn and I aim to entertain you, encourage you, and offer you a place to call home. So subscribe now and join the Zuzucorn family. To begin, let's look at exactly what the TerraSpark boots can do. First of all, they boost your movement speed. In addition to an innate speed boost, these boots also enable the ability to accelerate to a higher speed, which is rather essential in many boss fights, like the Eye of Cthulhu for example. Secondly, the TerraSpark boots also give you the ability to fly, which is awesome because you can get this amazing accessory pre-hard mode before you can even get any pair of wings. Even with wings, these boots are not useless. They still provide a flight bonus, so you don't have to worry about missing out on anything. Next, the TerraSpark boots also allow you to walk on the surface of water, honey, and lava, which really makes moving around a lot more convenient. It might help for a fight against Duke Fishron as well. These boots also grant you immunity to fire blocks like Meteorite and Hellstone, and also offer 7 seconds of lava immunity. This really keeps you safe in the underworld. Lastly, they stop thin ice from breaking, meaning that you'll never ever fall to your death by accident ever again. In fact, you actually gain a speed boost when you're travelling on thin ice. Pretty interesting. But well, with so many amazing effects and versatility, you might think that you'll need crazy amounts of crafting components like the Ang Shield. Surprisingly, all you need are 7 components, and 6 of them are actually pretty easy to find. So let's get right into it. In general, you can look at the TerraSpark boots as two main components. It's basically a combination of the FrostSpark boots and the Lava Waders. Let's take a look at how you can acquire the FrostSpark boots first. The first component you'll need are the Hermes boots or any equivalent. Hermes boots are the component that allow you to accelerate to a higher speed. There are four equivalent boots which all can be used in the crafting recipe. First, we have the Hermes boots, which are easily found in chests all over your Terraria world. Both surface and underground chests can contain them, so you find one in no time. There is also the Flurry boots, which is simply the equivalent found in Ice Biome chests. Otherwise, you can also try fishing for Ice Biome crates. Next, we have the Sailfish boots, which are the equivalent obtained from fishing crates. They are quite commonly found from the wooden or iron crates, along with their hard mode variant, the pearl wood or the mithril crate. Lastly, we have the Dune Rider boots, the equivalent found from desert chests in the underground desert. You can also find them from oasis crates by fishing in the desert oasis. These four variants are all the same, only differing purely in cosmetics. However, once you combine them into the TerraSpark boots, it's all lost anyway. So with so many available variants, getting one isn't too difficult, so this one shouldn't be a problem. The next component is the Rocket Boots, which allow you to fly. These are extremely simple to acquire, only requiring 5 gold from the Goblin Tinkerer. There's not much to say about these, just buy them from him and you're done. The next thing you'll need is an Aglet, an accessory found from surface level wooden chests. The Aglet is an accessory that gives you 5% movement speed, and it's honestly more of a component than anything. Did you know that an Aglet is actually that little plastic tip at the end of a shoelace? Well, now you know. This accessory might be hard to find if your world has pretty bad RNG, but another way to obtain the Aglet is through fishing. Both wooden crates and iron crates can give you the Aglet, so you have to turn to fishing if you can't find it in any of your surface chests. Next, you need an Anklet of the Wind, another component that boosts movement speed. This is an accessory that is found in IV chests in the underground jungle. Firstly, IV chests are not the same as rich mahogany chests. Mahogany ones offer more common loot and it's not what we're after. IV chests are only found in two places. 
Firstly, you can find them at the base of a living mahogany tree in the jungle. These trees are easy to spot and they always contain an ivy chest within. The other place to get ivy chests are from jungle shrines, which are also easy to find. Jungle shrines are always lit with a green torch, making finding one pretty easy. You can get the anklet of the wind from ivy chests at a 23% chance, so cross your fingers and hope for the best. Otherwise, jungle crates are another alternative. The last thing you need for the frostbuck boots are ice skates, which are found from ice chests. These are chests found within the ice biome, so use a spelunker potion to look for them. It makes it so much easier. The ice skates are what allows you to walk freely on thin ice, which will prevent you from falling to your death in these deep crevices. Once again, fishing for ice biome crates have a chance to give you this item as well, so you'll always have that option available. With all the materials gathered, we can head over to a Tinkerer's workshop, a crafting station sold by the Goblin Tinkerer. This station allows you to combine certain accessories to allow you to create one accessory with all the previous component effects. So with this, let's make the Frostbark boot. Combine the Rocket boots and the Hermes boot, or any equivalent, into the Spectre boot. Then combine the Spectre boots with the Aglet and the Anklet of the Wind for the Lightning boot. Lastly, combine the lightning boots with ice skates to create the frost spark boots, which enable flight, acceleration, and thin ice protection. With that out of the way, we can now go for the lava waders. Thankfully, the lava waders only have three components. Unfortunately, one of the components is extremely annoying to find, but let's leave that for last. The first and easiest component to obtain for the lava waders is the obsidian skull which only requires 20 obsidian to craft at a furnace. Obsidian is obtained when water meets lava, so just grab some and make the obsidian skull. Next, we will need a pair of water walking boots. These allow you to walk on water and honey, and are actually somewhat difficult to find. Water chests have a chance to spawn in any pool of water greater than 250 blocks, but relying on random water pools to look for one is pretty unreliable. Instead, check the ocean floor for water chests. Using a gills potion, you'll be able to breathe underwater for a short duration. Otherwise, using a Neptune shell will work as well. The ocean has a higher chance of having water chests, especially in the new Water Caves, which is a new addition in Terraria 1.4. One of the oceans will contain a path that leads to the deep ocean, and this cavern usually has lots of water chests that you can loot. Just make sure you bring lots of glow sticks, or use a spelunker potion to help you easily find these chests. However, the most reliable way is probably fishing for ocean crate. This is the only renewable source, and these crates will give you the water walking boots at a 9% chance. Of course, just explore your ocean first, and when all else fails, just fish for them. Lastly, you need a lava charm. Lava charms are probably one of the most annoying things to get. They offer you 7 seconds of lava immunity, but combining them with water walking boots allows you to walk on lava, which is honestly pretty amazing. However, there are two main ways of obtaining the lava charm. The first way is by finding them from chests in the lava layer, meaning at the depth where lava starts spawning. This is extremely unreliable in general, since there aren't too many chests at that level because of all the lava that's around. Even if you find a chest, the lava charm only has a 2.5% chance of being in the chest. That's honestly pretty absurdly low, even for an unreliable method like hunting chests. I can't really recommend you to do it this way. Of course, if you manage to find one, then great. However, if you can't find a lava charm this way, I recommend the second method, which is lava fishing. Lava charms are also obtainable from hellstone and obsidian crates, which are fished up from lava. They still only have a 2.5% chance of showing up, but it's definitely much better than the first method. I'll explain why later. To fish in lava, you need bait caught from the underworld, such as the magma snail or the hell butterfly. These require the golden bug net or the magma proof net, which is made from hellstone and a regular bug net. Using these as bait will allow you to fish in lava using any rod. Otherwise, you have to use the lava proof fishing rod which is obtained as an angler quest reward in hard mode. Or you can get the lava proof fishing hook, which is obtained from the obsidian crate. The issue is, if you want to get the Terra Spark boots pre-hard mode, the only option is the lava proof fishing hook. And no matter what, you have to start by using underworld bait. 
Now, you might be thinking that depending on fishing for crates will be a nightmare. And well, you're not wrong. But it's less horrible than you think. First of all, the loot pool from lava fishing is pretty small, so I found that you can get crates pretty often. Although the drop rate of the charm is still abysmal, once you get the lava proof fishing hook, you can use regular bait, and everything really starts speeding up. However, I'm not going to deny that the lava charm is still the most annoying part of this recipe. Anyway, let's assume that you've gotten your lava charm. It's finally time to assemble the Terra Spark boots. Combine the obsidian skull, the lava charm, and the water walking boots in any order. They can be combined with each other differently, but merging all three gets you the lava waders in the end. Finally, combine the lava waders with the frost spark boot for your reward, the amazing Terra Spark boot. Congratulations, you have obtained the strongest pair of boots in the game. With speed, flight, ability to walk on liquids, and protection from thin ice, these boots will truly protect you from the harsh land. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon too for more Terraria guides and coverage. This has been Zuzucorn Games. Have a nice day and have a great week ahead. Bye bye!